In this video we're going to look at three utilities from Gigabyte for their graphics cards. Gigabyte Easy Boost, Gigabyte OCD Guru 2 and BIOS. The first utility we'll look at is the BIOS utility. What this basically allows you to do is to flash your graphics card's BIOS and update it. Now why would you update your graphics card's BIOS? Pretty much the same as why you'd update your motherboard's BIOS. With each revision there's usually uh, stability issues fixed, performance issues fixed and sometimes even new features. For example the BIOS that I currently flash to recently has a UEFI support. And what this utility allows you to do is a first back up your BIOS. You want to do that in case it accidentally bricks your graphics card and you need to go back to it. And of course you have the flash function. And when you click on that you'll just need to select your new updated BIOS. And of course after you've finished that you just need to click on open and then you'll usually need to restart. I'm not going to do it because I've already flashed my BIOS to the recent one and it'll just save me time. The next utility we'll go over is Easy Boost. This allows you to overclock your graphics card as well as take control of the fan. It gives you a little reading for the GPU usage, temperature, fan speed, uh, GPU clock, memory clock, shade clock and all of that good stuff. We have OSD tuning and now the OSD allows you to basically record video, although I haven't tested this out. Take screenshots and all of that good stuff. Of course you have the BIOS setting, you can do flash and backup from here as well. You can also auto flash if you wish, it'll check for the latest download from the actual site. You also get technical support, this gives you readout for your VGA or graphics card and tells you little bits and bobs about it. The CPU, the motherboard, for some reason the memory isn't showing up for me. And of course the monitor that's your main monitor. And you can click on live update to receive updates for the current utilities. The last utility we'll look at is OC Guru 2. Now first impressions from this, it kind of feels like MSI Afterburner. You can do your monitoring, it gives you temperatures, voltages, clock and all of that stuff. You can overclock your card from here. I don't know why it's giving this readout because my card is already overclocked, but either way. You can also change the fan settings from manual to auto. Control the OSD settings from here as well, like in the Easy Boost utility. Also you get a button for online support and you can also change the voltage of the minimum and memory voltage. Since I can't change the uh, voltage of this graphics card it isn't giving me the option to. You can save profiles if you wish, if you have different overclocking settings and stuff like that, but that's pretty basic and simple. Like I said, I think this is trying to be something like MSI Afterburner, which I personally prefer to use. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, until next time thank you for watching and goodbye.